Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Chef Freddy, back at you. Pineapple salsa, folks. Crazy cool flavors going on. Super simple. Um, you know, a lot of people preach acid, acid, acid. Pineapples already have a lot of acid in it. So in this recipe, folks, I'm dialing down on the lime juice and lemon juice. Um, if you're just using one pineapple, to be honest with you, you don't need any. If you want a little acidity, add a little bit of splash from maybe half a, half a lime. But for this recipe, I'm going 15 cups of pineapples and I'm only going a quarter cup of lime juice, folks. Just a quarter cup. I'm not going crazy. A lot of people complain about acid reflex or it just being a little too tangy sometimes. That's because pineapples have a lot of acid in it already. All right. Next, I have um, two jalapenos minced up in one whole red onion. Again, two jalapenos, fresh jalapenos minced up, one whole red onion, right? And we just drop that in there. You know, go in there, get that extra little ingredient so we're not have too much waste. All right. Next, I have two teaspoons of salt and one tablespoon of cumin. And maybe you don't like cumin, take it out. It's all right, you don't have to follow my recipe. I'm just giving you guys base things and you can work with it from there. Following that, we have one cup of cilantro. Cilantro, everybody. Man, what a under, under appreciated product. Cilantro, I don't like it. Next, folks, I have gutted. And if you watch another video, I show you how to gut tomatoes, okay? So follow our videos and make sure you go and look because a lot of the times I'm showing you how to get to this point. All right, so we're going over how we're gonna dice. We're going over how we gut a tomato. So I have two gutted and then diced up Roma tomatoes. Again, Roma tomatoes, which in the video I showed you how to julienne them and also gut and dice them down for the purpose we're doing today, for a salsa. Again, now folks, I have all of my trash done. We can clean up. Last pork part here. We just mix it up, guys, and we just, you know, get in here. Now, you could add in some uh, bell pepper if you wanted to. I don't like to. I got the jalapeno in there for a little bite. The pineapple's nice and sweet. Let me go through some more profiles there. We have some onion in there. Give it a little cut. Mm -hmm. You know, we have some tomato in there to kind of uh, bring it down a little bit. And just a nice fresh tomato. Um, if you were to make this, folks, tricks of the trade, if you were to make this for a dinner party or something going on at your house and maybe you're making it the night before, do not add the salt right away. Add the salt before the guests are coming, maybe two hours before. Salt, when you add the salt and you want it to hold, um, the tomatoes start to break down, right? They'll make the tomatoes mushy. Um, right now we're at one of my restaurants. We'll use all of this today. So I added the salt. Now if I was making this ahead of time, maybe doing some prep for tomorrow, I would add my salt um, tomorrow morning before I serve this product. Um, again, guys, just a beautiful, 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 colorful pineapple salsa. Chef Freddy here, and I'm having a great day. I hope you are too. Thank you.